Hi guys, Jessica back here. Gonna do a review. <clears throat> Sorry, of the Libba Bray um, Gemma Doyle trilogy. I don't have the first two books because, like I always tell you, I swap them like instantly, um, and that's why I'm doing this review now because I want to put it up on the site swapped. Um, the first book is A Great and Terrible Beauty. The second one is Rebel Angels, and the third one is The Sweet Far Thing. As you can see, these books are massive. All of the books are about these 800 page range, um, so reading three books in this series, I really invested a lot into the characters, so the third book was really phenomenal, and I couldn't put it down. I literally read it last evening and off and on all day yesterday, and I finished this whole entire book. I just couldn't stop reading. Um, the story behind this is that I found this book at Marshall's. I did it in a whole a long time ago. I got it for a dollar because it's kind of damaged, as you can see. In the top, there's some pages that are damaged, but it doesn't matter to me, you know. Um, so I got this book in maybe March, and I looked it up online and saw that there was two books ahead of it. So I finally had got all three books for me to finally, in July, um, read all three books. The books are fantasy-like. They talk about witchcraft, gypsies, um, secret societies, a secret world, um, magic, illusions, um, kind of like psychic abilities, like reading people's minds, changing into different objects. Um, it's really interesting because the book is set in the late 1800s in England, and part of it is also in India. Um, so it, I felt like this book was um, something that really hasn't been written before. And it can appeal to a later teen. To me, I feel like this is like the adult Harry Potter. Um, but I can see how someone 16, 17, 18 could read this. But I just feel like because this, people in the book are that age, they are going to be coming of age. They're, you know, at the end of the series or the trilogy, they're going to go to their season, and they're, you know, at the end, you know, they bow in front of the queen and everything curtsy. So I do understand, but I think a lot of the issues that come into these books are for someone older. Um, I give the series or trilogy five out of five. I never give books five out of five, but this was amazing. Um, at the end of this book, there's an interview with Libba Bray, which, let me show you. That's her. She's pretty young. I think she's only a couple of years older than me. Um, and she said that she isn't certain that um, she's done with this, uh, with these characters and um, whatever. So there might be another book. This one was written in, let me see. And they consider it uh, science fiction, fantasy, and horror. This was written in 2007, so she hasn't quite wrote another one yet. She is writing another book, I guess. Um, it's about someone that has mad cow disease or something. Um, but I'm kind of anxiously awaiting to see if she will do a fourth book in the series because that's how much I love these books. Um, in between reading these, I read the Twilight series, and now I have Breaking Dawn left. I never really was into reading series. Um, I did read Gossip Girl and It Girl, you know, shallow kind of series, but I've never read something as extensive as that. <laughs> so I kind of feel proud of myself. I don't know. But it was really great. So if you do get a chance and you go to the library or you do join a uh, book swapping website or something, do check out Libba Bray. Okay. And these are what they look like. Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and then this one, The Sweet Fair Thing, Far Thing, sorry. So that is my review. I think that's my first book review ever. Um, I'm not really sure what I should include, what I shouldn't. Um, I'm kind of just reading this, like, fun book in between I started last night. Because I kind of get momentum after I finish a book. I want to, like, read another book. So last night I stayed up and I started reading another book. Um, that's why I look so tired. <laughs> And my hair is everywhere. But um, I hope you enjoyed that. I have gotten some messages from new subscribers that enjoy book reviews and such. So I am trying to do book and beauty on my website or on my channel. Uh, so I hope you did enjoy it. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.